It's Mike Melinda, Editor-in-Chief of Guitar Player Magazine. We're still at NAMM. At this moment, I'm in the Two Rock booth with Chad and Bill. And they are, they've developed a kind of interesting, I guess, collaborative effort to the latest series of Two Rock amps. And I thought we'd have them talk about what that process is, whether they get down on the floor and fight each other about ideas, or whether it's a seamless and happy collaboration. So why don't you let our, our readers know uh, what goes into these amps, what your design aesthetic is, you know, how you're trying to voice them, and basically, you know, maybe even help us learn what makes your amps different than what they might also be looking at. That sound good? All right. Okay. This year we came out with three different amplifiers, and we're bringing in new features that we haven't had before. Um, Chad and I worked, worked on all this for over a year, and then we started putting them together actually about three months ago. Um, and Chad's going to run through all the new features of the amplifiers. A few years ago, we came out the Studio Pro line, and it's been one of the most successful things that we've done ever uh, since our inception. And one of the biggest uh, requests I had in that single channel clean platform was to make one of the options foot switchable. So, it was kind of a, an easy go-to thing on for new models to take it and take that request, put it into a foot switch form. And uh, while I was at it, I had an extra foot switch space, so Bill designed a, a great tremolo circuit uh, last year for one of our signature models, the Matt Schofield, and it seemed like a, a perfect fit to put that inside the uh, Studio Pro. Great cleans, two rock tone, a little bit of grind that you can put into it, and great tube tremolo. The next two models, which is the Sensor and the Bionics, are a real kind of new step in a direction for us into a higher gain, more aggressive lead channel. Um, still maintaining the cleans that Two Rock's known for in a, a reverb format and a non-reverb format in the Sensor. Um, the Sensor includes the same uh, foot switchable expansion bypass that I introduced in the Studio Pro line along with a fully buffered tube effects loop, which is kind of new for us, too, to offer something that can go both series and parallel, uh, really giving players more versatility with what effects, reverbs, delays, choruses they can add into the loop, plus giving them, you know, great front end and then multiple options on how to attack the lead channel and get into, like I said, a more aggressive, more British-style sound. The Bionics is kind of a middle ground, I think, area for us that Players wanted dual channels, a true two-channel two amplifier, and the versatility that dual EQs gave you, but still maintaining that two-rock tone, great reverb, and somewhere in between the overdrive of our older style stuff and a more modern overdrive. Bill and I kind of went back and forth a lot through the design steps, and uh, he kind of gave me a little free reign when it came to how they were going to look and lay out, and that was a little different for us this year. Uh, kind of moving into a little bit more modern. Seems like we've got the classic thing really dialed in and now we're starting to get a little bit more modern in some of the stuff and uh, I think it's going to be a good move moving forward. Uh, this is Bill and Chad at uh, Two Rock Nam booth uh, 2013. Great year. Great year. Uh, check us out on our website www.tworock.com.